And don't forget to do your chores. This is a sentence we hear over and over again the parents saying to their children. Now you might say, what does that have anything to do with the coronavirus discussion? Well, you're going to see that it is extremely related to it. Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily discussion uh, sharing thoughts and feelings with you, uh, drawing energy and inspiration so that we feel stronger and more driven to uh, go through these very challenging times that are result of the coronavirus epidemic. Well, I mentioned in the beginning that parents say to their children, do your chores, do your chores, uh, did you finish your chores? And they're very right doing that because chores are activities that don't lead to fun, to enjoyment as the kids are doing them or as anybody is doing them, children or adults. It is a, a, an ability, a way of developing responsibility, but it is also a way of preparing us to also do things, to drive our energy into things that are not fun. We are not enjoying at the time of doing them. But in the end, there is a lot of reward that comes with it. In fact, there is much more reward coming from it than when we are engaging with things that we have fun with. Um, paradoxical, but as we are discussing it, you're going to see my point. The coronavirus has spread very much throughout the world, very fast. I wonder, and I don't have research to support my theory, whether the reasons why this epidemic spread so much is also not only how aggressive the virus is, but also how we children and adults are not that much driven in doing what we have to do unless there is fun. We want to do what we want to do, not what we have to do. Which makes me wonder if when we do what we have to do, the end result is doing it halfway, not all the way. Being responsible is number one in importance as we are going through this period we have to make sure we sanitize, we wash our hands for lengthy periods, frequently, uh, we don't touch our face, we stay put, we stay home, if possible, stay away from being outside. You know, everything I'm describing are things that are not fun. Everything I'm describing here are all the things that we need to force ourselves to do. We're not getting enjoyment from doing that. When we start doing things because we have to, not because we want to, we develop inner depth that comes from feeling a little bit humble because when we choose to do things that we don't enjoy, it's a humble experience. But then what? 
By doing all these things, we develop endurance in areas where there is no obvious source of fun. And when we do things, when we drive our energies in areas that bring no immediate enjoyment, we reach a point where we start looking forward to delay enjoyment. In fact, when we work hard in cleaning a room, in doing our chores, in taking care of things that really are not pleasing at the time of doing them, afterwards, when we look back and look at the result, there is such a good, great feeling of fulfillment. I'm even going to say that that feeling is a feeling of joy. Those that have grown or developed as adults, that muscle that endurance of doing chores as part, as an integrated part of life, not skipping them, not bypassing them, but actually getting involved, participating in the moment as they are doing chores, Afterwards, they are experiencing gratification, satisfaction. When we start as a world, participating in taking care and applying all the requirements given to us, suggestions given to us, so that we can become more safe for each other, inside the family, outside the family, in the whole world, I assure you that those that we uh, see are actively participating in small scale and in bigger scale, contributing in prevention of the spreading of the virus, as well as securing health these are the people that in the end are going to look back and feel good when the world is clean from the virus. Those that will go by, go through, not doing their chores like children don't like doing their chores, but if we sort of develop that kind of stubbornness and expect others to provide for our safety and security, others to provide the clean environment for us to live in, in the end of that journey, they are going to be, ah, so what? And you know what? It is because of the people that decided to participate and be involved in things that they don't enjoy doing but they have to do. It is these people that find it in them that kind of need and relief 
and in reaching out to their faith and being close to God. Because the people that choose out of their own will to do these things that don't really enjoy doing, I know I repeat myself, but it is the right thing to do. These are the people that grow. They grow through that humble job of doing things that don't bring fun. They grow, develop, evolve, reach out and understand the value, the importance, and the meaning of having God in life and wanting to be a good neighbor to the neighbors around. For the sake of this fulfillment, gratification, enjoyment, do your chores. Because the coronavirus will pass. And in the end, if you have not participated, it is exactly like going into the movie theater to see an awesome movie and falling asleep and waking up in the end when the lights come back on. You are going to feel you have missed an opportunity and experience that others around you participated and through that became different, better, and you don't want to miss this opportunity of you too and me myself to become different than the way we were before the coronavirus inspired and better for ourselves, for our families, for our communities, and for the whole world. Until tomorrow we speak again, stay safe, stay well, and God bless you.